Hi there. I'll start in the greenhouse. As you can see, the late rooted cuttings um, have now been potted up in the three inch pots. And these will be going out in around two weeks time. Um, the ones that's outside are more advanced. Um, they'll also be going out in two weeks time, but I want to uh, plants at different stages just so that I don't get plants flowering at the same time. Um, they can be timed, blooms can be timed, but uh, I'd rather have a, a mix of different plants than them all the same um, for the same characteristics. So this, these are some of the later plants which will um, grow out in two weeks time as I say. Uh, they'll be a bit smaller than the ones that's advanced but hopefully these will get us right through to the end of September. Um, some of the varieties that I've got plenty of uh, Canora Challenger, Mary's Jamanda and Canora Valentine's done well this year. Um, Canora Valentine, I've gotten around 30 to 40 cuttings uh, rooted from two tubers, so very good results off that. Um, same as Mary's Jamanda, just done very well. Um, I did, however, have about 10 tubers of Canora Challenger, um, and I've gotten more than enough off that as well. So happy with them so far. Um, also, some of the plants that I received from Hosea Hedden, uh, they're all pretty well advanced um, I did take some late cuttings off them so I've got them at different stages but they'll all go on the ground uh, all doing very well inside um, some of the tubers uh, these will be going down my dad's plot uh, these are just for cut flowers um, and just maybe to keep some stock from the, uh, the varieties that I'm short of uh, some of these ones in the bottom are pot tubers uh, they'll probably just sit in the trays and if I need them next year I'll use them but I should have enough of each so that's the pot, that's the tubers that I used this year uh, there's plenty growth on them but I'll reduce it down to about two to three shoots per uh, tuber so just nip them back this one here has actually got about two or three on um, and the variety here is Hillcrest Candy um, I'm not actually growing that this year because the pink colour in, in, in it in the in my ground faded quite severely last year so might have been because it wasn't covered but I'm not growing it this year, I'm growing um, Grenadol Pastel and Eastwood Moonlight so we'll we'll see how they perform. Uh, I have kept stock of it but it doesn't mean to say that I'll that I'll use it again. So that's a Chris Candy there, just a two just to get some um, flowers for the vase off them. So I'll take you outside and show you some of the plants that I've got outside. So these are some of the ones that I rooted earlier on in the air, in the season. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty well advanced. Some of them potted up in the one litre pots. I've also got some over the back there. But there's plenty to go at. I've got around four or 500 plants, but I only have enough room in my pot for around the 100, 150 mark to 180. So not use all them um i have got enough room down my dad's for about 200 and um another fella gary cooper uh he's gonna put some plants down there as well so i should i should have enough ground space to put them all in but if not i'll be putting them back for pot tubers and keeping them for stock um i'll move over to my ground so these are the two beds that i'm using nice long beds i think they're about 18 meters by 1.2 wide so I'll get two rows in each bed um, and I should get around 120 plants in there and also the bit where the, the dealers are, are sitting there now I should get around I should get two rows in there and uh, get around 20 plants in there as well so we'll see what happens with them um, so I've rotivated the ground I've added Phytax Q4 and some slow release fertilizer uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay the lay flat hose down and um, I'm going to use a soaker hose for watering this year um, just to make it easier because last year I watered by hand and I just found that I didn't have enough time to do anything else in the garden so if I put um, lay flat soaker hose down I just plug a, plug a hose in and, the, and I can just get on with other jobs in the garden just makes life easier I am going to hook up with um, a 12 volt uh, timer and plug it into a water butt pump 
and I'll be able to do my feeding uh, while I'm actually not here so I'll stick that on a timer so I'll lay the, the lay flat goes down and I'll show you what it's like when it's done so I've now got the lay flat hose down and as you can see um, the plants will go sit in the middle of the um, tubes and get watered from either side uh, the structured area here which I'm going to construct next week um, will be covered by plastic and the plants will be spaced out 18 inches apart um, and that will be 18 inches um, between each row the difficulty I found last year was that I um, had problems with the path being quite tight uh, so I'll just do it for another year and then maybe just get rid of the path and um, the border along the the path and move everything over just to get just to give us plenty of room in between so that's the um, lay flat hose down there um, and I'll put the my picks plastic down now and I'll show you uh, what it's like when it's finished so I've got my little helper with this uh, Springer Spaniel Sadie it's daft, daft mutt. Um, so over here under the mylot is the two ends of the hose which will just be plugged into um, and under the mylot I've got plenty of slug pellets down. Slug, slugs are a big problem with dahlias, I just love them so plenty of slug pellets down. Um, you don't want to be cutting this mylot with scissors as the ends can just fray and it just turns to dust basically and it's no good. So what I'll use to cut it is a, um, a blowtorch and I'll cut the holes uh, 18 inch centers and the holes will be 5 to 6 inches in diameter um, as I say that will be done with the blowtorch um, so that's it at the moment I'm going to get some pins just to pin the, uh, the mylar plastic down and the, the purpose of the mylar is just to stop the weeds from coming through so you literally just have the plant and then if you get the odd weed coming through the uh, the hole that you've cut out they're easy to get rid of so that's that um, I have stocked up on uh, canes uh, as I say I'm planting about, 100, about 150 to 180 in here um, so you need three three times that so plenty of canes I bought a bundle of 500 from eBay £30 delivered cheap as chips so you kind of complain of that so the holes will be cut out next as I say and then the next job in three weeks time will be planting them out um, when I'm planting them out I'll be using uh, charge this year it's Eco Thrive Charge it's uh, mealworm poo or posh poop as some people are calling it uh, we'll see how that performs and I'll also be using some micro max uh, in, in with that mix uh, when, I, when I plant them in each hole. I'll put a picture down on the screen now. And they're all available at the link below, which I'll put on now. As I say, hard work's done now, uh, taking all the cuttings. And the next job is uh, planting out, which will be three weeks' time. So, fingers crossed, we'll get some. Uh, warm weather and the dahlia start to start to move along so thanks for watching